I'm smiling all night long at you. No one makes me feel like you do. The effect of you is it voodoo. It's like a hurricane twisting around inside my brain. Tell me, honey, do you feel the same? We're gonna catch that train to a higher plane. Yeah, you know that you know it. Yeah, you know that you know it. Yeah, you know that you know it. Train to a higher plane. Yeah, you know that you know it. 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 You better not. Yeah, you know that you know it. Yeah, you know that you know it. You bet to not. Yeah, you bet to not. Let's go. Wiggle up your waist. Let me see your face. Wiggle up your waist. Let me see your face. Wiggle up your waist. Let me see your face. Ba-bum! We are live on YouTube and uh, let's hope we can hear the sound today. How are we all doing then on this uh, glorious uh, Saturday afternoon? Uh, well, it's not that glorious actually, but uh, it's not raining, so that's the main thing. How's everyone doing then? Right, uh, if you could just tell me if you can hear me in chat, as I just want to know we're not sounding like Robotron today. Right, let's have a look then have a look through chat the usual format of the show we have a quick chat to, uh, with the members of chat welcome to everyone that is just ghosting it's too shy to say hello but uh, don't be shy come in say hello to me uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up icon if you want to hit the thumbs down icon uh, be my guest it all adds to the interaction of the channel so crack on but uh, i would prefer a thumbs up if you don't mind guys so how are we all doing then Sound is fine. Right, thanks for confirming, Adrian. Right, as per normal, we are going to go from the top, see how many we've got in here, and then we'll give a few little shout-outs. Right, so we've got 20 watching this afternoon. So big love to you all for doing that. Uh, much appreciated. Right, so we've got Paul Wynn Stanley. Afternoon all. How you doing, mate? Chris Doyle, the resident spanner. How you doing, buddy? Uh, and Chris has put a couple of the links in there today because we are going to be uh, uh, building the uh, custom ages skins today. Building, putting them on anyway. So we've got that on there. The two links are in there. We're also going to be reviewing the Bulk RTA by Umie and uh, Vaping Fagan, which I got kindly sent by Health Cabin. So big love, Health Cabin. Uh, it's an RTA that you can't get in many places, so that's one particular place you can buy it. So check out Health Cabin if you want to uh, get the bulk RTA. Right, Simon62, hey up Mike, how you doing brother? Hope you're doing well. Hooked on Funk, obviously Hooked on Funk is Mr. Aegis Skins, uh, the custom Aegis Skins. You can see the logo, uh, what side are we on? There we are, on the bottom right of the screen. How you doing Jay? 
big love for sending me out the package. We haven't even opened it yet, but uh, we will be putting them on a little bit later on. So we've got Lewis fishing, Louis fishing. How's it going, brother? Uh, who else have we got in here? Not many more chatters. Right, Sub Home Silver Reviews. Good afternoon, folks. Check out Neil from ESA Click, and he's also got a little YouTube channel, the same for Simon62. He's just got a YouTube channel, though. He doesn't do written reviews. Right, we've got Vaping Noob. Afternoon, peeps. Uh, who else we got? Peter Kendall. What's up, brother? Stuart Ayrton. Hello, mate. And Adrian Mason, who kindly said the sound is fine. Uh, and that's about it. We've got Drew GH. What's up, broski? Big love to you. Big love to you all, in fact, for tuning in this Saturday afternoon. Uh, what what more could you do on your Saturday afternoon, apart from watch football? Uh, don't talk about the football anyway. Palace just got dicked 4-0 by Chelsea. But uh, uh, there you go. We won't mention that. Um, but anyway, right. Yeah, so... Today's show then, we've got a bit of a double whammy going on for you today. Uh, like I said just a minute ago, we've got the Bulk RTA, which is this little fella here. We've got it on the Ev Dillo. Uh, never had it. I tried to get it a couple of years ago from the Umie stand at uh, Expo. I tried to blag it off them and they wouldn't give it to me. So um, I've managed to pick one up off um, Health Cabin uh, two years later. And uh, yeah, we'll be reviewing that one first. Uh, later in the show, we will be checking out the custom Aegis skins, which uh, for anyone that doesn't know what the Aegis is, uh, this uh, a series of uh, mods uh, by Geek Vape. Uh, they have uh, these faux leather skins on them and uh, J at Aegis, custom Aegis .eu, uh, sends uh, He basically makes uh, custom skins so you can put them on in your own designs. You can put your own logos on. You can put, he's got loads of different colors and stuff like that. So um, Chris just put the links in there if you want to check out his website. But we will be looking at that later on after we've done the review. So that'll probably be in about 45 minutes. This one is not going to be a short show, guys. We've got the review of the bolt. We're putting a build in it today as well. I recorded the, um, the unboxing and uh, build section last weekend. And uh, in real time, we'll be putting it um, uh, on here. And we'll be narrating over the top. So, yeah, we'll be doing that, giving you the pros, cons, what I think of the bulk RTA. Later on, we'll be looking at the custom Aegis skins, doing a, a live unpackaging for you as well. So, yeah, that is the format of today's show. Uh, I'll tell you what else is coming in a little bit later on. Not much has changed from last week, to be honest. But um, anyway, so that is that. hope everyone's doing all right. Right, drink of choice today. We've got some Old Mount Cider. I think it's uh, raspberry and pineapple. A uh, bit of a soft afternoon, you know, a bit of a laid-back one. Saturday afternoon. What's up, Fiona? How are you doing? A big love to you and Ian. Thanks for popping in. I'm very good indeed. Uh, feeling pretty good, actually, Fiona. Thank you. Uh, apart from losing the football, of course, but uh, it's only a game, isn't it? Right, Chris L. What's up, buddy? And, uh, right, so that is that. Um what we're vaping on, I'll just show you what we're vaping on for the sake of argument. We've got the legendary, it's only Bantamate Stroke MF Vape Overkill Mods uh, Dual 21700 Series Box Mod here. If you're interested in your mechanical, semi-mechanical with MOSFETs, uh, check out the channel because we have reviewed this, Overkill Mods Dual 21700. On the top we've got the Asgard RTA. Uh, the 30 millimeter jobby with the series decking, which I've been using for the past week or two. Uh, we will be reviewing that at some point. Let's just have a drag. Bit of a clouds bro clouds uh, combo that is. So we got that. We've also got uh, daily banger here. We got the Aspire Nautilus GT and the Glint mod. The uh, it's basically the Nautilus GT kit. We got it in a rose gold variety. Review can be found on the channel. We, this one takes your BVC Aspire calls, and I think it's cracking. This is my um, every morning. I'll get up and have a vape on this. If you can't be asked to build and you want a nice stock cool mountain along tank, Nautilus GT, 
uh, is awesome. So do check out the review if you haven't done already. Right, another one we've been testing for the past couple of weeks uh, is the uh, Vaporesso Bar Pod. Nice little pod here that you can put your Nick Salts in, stuff like that. We will be reviewing that uh, at some point. And uh, last but not least, we have the uh, Aston RTA on top of the Stratum clone, uh, which you can purchase from Nature Vape. Uh, NatureVape.co.uk. Uh, I purchased it from him, and um, yeah, it's a cracking combo. This Aston RTA was reviewed on the channel a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, I haven't reviewed this Stratum because obviously it's a replica, and you're not allowed to do that anymore on YouTube. So that is today's buffet. I'll just show what uh, juice I've got. We got some. Uh, it's not actually Nom Noms. It's in a Nom Noms bottle. We got some summer black currant by uh, Just Jam. We've got some Just Jammy e-liquid flavor concentrate jobby uh, strawberry jam. And we've also got uh, Kerno Black in there, uh, which are uh, my three favorite vapes. Uh, I'm still vaping on the uh, King Strawberry Jam as well, but I haven't got it out here this weekend. But that's a really good one. We did review it on the show last week. Uh, not uh, got the nest yet no no we haven't got the nest I'll be telling everyone what's coming up for your uh, review a little bit later on but uh, no I haven't got it so I don't know what's going on there whether Mark sent them out or not but we will talk about that a little bit later on right Chris has got his hammer of God XL the Hell's Gate RDA with black vine Lewis Fishing just had the Nautilus got to arrive today to go on my mix. Yeah, it's an awesome combo, mate. You shouldn't be disappointed. Right, so we've got a lot to get on with today. So we are going to crack straight on uh, with the unboxing. I'll just have a swig and a quick little vape. Let's just check in, see how we're doing. We've got 27 in uh, today. That is uh, awesome. Big love to you. If you could all share it out, spam it out to your friends and what have you. Saturday afternoon isn't the best time to go live, but... Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you that have come in. Shut up, dog. Stop barking. Any trouble with living here? I've always got bloody dogs walking past. Right, so, yeah, we're going to have that. And we're going to have a little puff. Let's have a little puff on the old bulk. Right. Yeah, cheers everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. Right, so let's get on with it then. I don't expect we're going to get uh, too many more in at the moment, but like I say, I appreciate you for popping in. Let's just hope that the um, the video works for me. Like I said, we did record this last week. We're going to put this is recorded on my Canon EOS M50 mirrorless camera, uh, 10 uh, 50 frames per second, and then we're going to try and stream it live. So if it starts buffering, jumping about, it's because um, uh, it's the uh, bit rate or whatever isn't keeping up with it so do be a uh, bear with me right uh black country vapor hi mike got bulk 15 quid th th thoroughly enjoying it nice one mate and drew's got his third cupy gator and man oh man what's the st stellar vape yeah it's awesome the gator and we have reviewed that recently as well Right, so let's get on with it then. We've got a lot to get on with, so here we go. We're going to go straight on with the wrong scene. Here we go, the box for the Bulk RTA. So here we go, it's the Bulk UMA, and it's designed by the vaping Fagan. Bulk on that side, we've got scratch and sniff on that particular side, and we've got thumb cutouts, which is uh, very good indeed. Right, I love it when it does this to me. It is the example of it uh, buffering for me. So, right, there we go. That's how it's all presented. There's your tank. You get a bubble tank uh, on it. There's your deck section. There's your straight glass there. Uh, the measurements, I can't remember what they are, to be honest. I'm a tight and I haven't written them down. And you do get a spare 810 drip tip. Chat, uh, please excuse me, but uh, I will be ignoring you for the next 10 minutes or so while we go through this. Right, we've got some string cotton there in the package as well. We've got um, a little user manual there. Uh, you don't need to look at that. We'll, I'll be telling you how to call and re wick it in this uh, show. Right, we've got a bag full of O rings, Allen key. We've got two uh, look like Fuse Clapton style calls. And you've also got your spare uh, grub screws in there as well. And I, I do believe they're... 
I think they're hex ones as well, just like on the actual tank. Right, so let's just put it all together then. And there we go, bulk RTA. Right, so we got an 810 uh, fitting drip tip in this one. Get the camera to focus. Right, so there is a clear O-ring in the top. It's not the best O-ring in the world, uh, world, admittedly, this one, but you can put your 810 fitting ones in. Some of them might be a little bit loose, though, so do bear that one in mind. Right, get the calipers out. We'll give you a measurement of that uh, bore, the airflow bore for you. And there we go, 8.64 millimetres. Like I say, it is 810 fit in this one. Just give you the dimensions of the bubble. Uh, no, that's the, that's the bottom of the base, 28.4. Around the bu bubble, we've got 32.1 millimetres. Just to confirm at the top, 28 mils as well. So because we've got it in bubble tank mode, it is a little bit fatter. Right, so here's the... Um, two drip tips so you get one like high rise one and one more stubby one but it's quite a, a little bit wider but there you go that's what we look like inside just plug that one on there like that right so on the top you got a lovely bit of knurlin going on there it's uh, much like the plus uh, version one the knurlin it's um nice and grippy so it's easy to take the top cap off so we'll just do that now it's threaded on no bayonet with this one and uh, with this little bit here i'm frigging about because i'm trying to find the o-ring but there is a clear o-ring inside the top there in fact this just uh... <laughs> my eyesight is getting worse i tell you Just get the tweezers out, but there's confirmation there that there is a little o-ring in there. So make sure you don't lose that, otherwise you you won't get the seal. So that is in there. Right, we've got the filling ports on either side. Excuse the camera; it's being a bugger to me. This one was. So we we'll just measure those filling ports for you. God, it's hard work watching you, mate. What are you frigging about at? Right, 10.49 by 3 mil. So they're quite decent sized filling ports on this particular one. What's up, Mick? How you doing, bro? Right, so you just screw it on there. The threads aren't bad on here, to be honest. Right, have a quick look at the bottom. There we go. We've got uh, Bulk by Umie and Vaping Fagan. And we've got uh, a gold-plated... Uh, positive pin with peak insulator um, my one does protrude uh, quite nicely in fact so i'll be happy to use that one on a hybrid mechanical device but always check your insulators in there and the uh, that it does protrude because you do not want to get short circuits if you're using on a mechanical right so the airflow we've got three holes we've got one there one there and one there we have got stoppers on each side and you can adjust it anywhere in between. It'll be the same in all three holes. Confirmation of the stoppers. Right, unscrew it just like that. And then we can look inside the chimney section. So we've got a lovely bit of doming going on. And you can just see there the threads. Very good threading on here. I was actually quite impressed uh, considering it was eh? uh, But we've got, no, uh, we've got metal on metal, so we haven't got the usual a plastic cut on metal right this particular o-ring here is an absolute bitch to get off when you first get it it's uh, i had to uh, use marigolds i use fairy liquid and all sorts but it is really good though because once you've got it it's a good idea to juice that o-ring up if you can manage to get the glass off and there's a laser etch bulk uh, uh, logo for you but so uh, just put it in straight mode and that's uh, we'll just leave it like that Right, the measurements for it, I can't remember the cast passage, it's something like 5 and 8 mil, something like that. I'll have to confirm that later on. In fact, if Chris in chat could find out the capacity, that'd be awesome. Right, we've got um, a hex style grub screws there, and we've got airflow, two holes on either side. So that's coming through the bottom, and then it's coming out like this. So you can run this one in single or uh, dual call, but... Um, 
I prefer in dual call, so you can mount the, both the calls there and just pull them over a bit. We've got the peak insulator that does separate the positive posts. So I'll just show you here with the tweezers. So it sort of just follows around there. So alternate uh, sides are your positives and the other alternates are your negatives. So you can mount it on one side, pull it over to the middle if you just want to do a single call. Or just have two on each side and pull them in for a dual call. Right, so here we, we've got a GTA style deck. That means that the deck is raised off the, uh, the, the bottom. The cotton sits down in here and you want to have a nice and short cut just below there where I've got my tweezers. That works the best. This one is quite a finicky RTA to wick as well. So you do need to um, do a bit of raking out. You've got to spend some TLC when you're building this one. It's, uh, it's not that forgiving, especially if you've got it in straight glass mode. But we'll talk about that later on. It looks pretty sexy in straight glass though. So that is that. Right, just go up top just for a second just to get my breath. Uh, everyone who's just joining us, if you have just done a big love, thanks for tuning in. That was the unboxing and uh, a good look around the bulk RTA. I'll just say hello to the people that have just joined us. We've got Late Night Vape Show. How are you doing, buddy? We've got uh, Cron, squirting his fairy liquor on his marigolds and ripped one out. Indeed, I did, buddy. And Street Sleeper 4, CML Cheeky Marigold Wank. Uh, it, fucking people have to just learn a tone, don't they? But <laughs> anyway, so that is uh, the unboxing of that. A quick swig on this. Quick little vape and we'll get onto the build section. All right, and here we go. Don't bugger up on me, please. Work. Right, so here it is then. Right, forgot to say, we've got the, there's your holes there for your call. So we're just going to measure those. 2.21 by 1.36. And 3.87 by 1.48 are your airflow holes. So lovely screws on here. The grub screws are awesome. You're not going to strip these ones. We've got Nature of Ape Alien Calls. Uh, uh, being used today so do check out a uh, naturevape.co.uk if you want to purchase your set of a packet of eight comes in loads of different varieties nichrome stainless steel 316l and i'm cutting this one at uh, five millimeters today you can do 4.5 5.5 whatever you want but that's what i'm using uh, but yeah do check out naturevape.co.uk it's got mouth to lung ones on there uh, lots of different ones i think you've got canthal nichrome 80 and stainless steel 316l right i've pre-cut my legs already on the coily tool at five mil and to get your little rod in there we've got the screws going in so you're not going to deform your legs it's an uh, allen key one my allen key bit buggered up so i've got to use the core master one Uh, big love sub ohm silver reviews for doing that right so we're just getting on with this building so tighten up all your screws cheers chris for doing that uh i'm not sure fiona i don't think he does really but uh, do check out the website if you can put https uh, colon two forward slashes chris and then the link will actually show up right so there you go you've got your calls in here just get them nice and tight you want to like pull them out a little bit Make sure you've got a little gap in the middle, in the middle of it, so the airflow can come up as well. But if you use the coily tool, you get perfectly even cut legs. So it looks uh, pretty perfect, just like that. Right, so what resistance are we coming at? Uh, 0 0.09. I think it might go up a little bit once we bedded it in. This stainless steel core we've got here. Right, so pulse your calls. You want to get rid of those hot spots. When you see the lightning strikes, you don't want it like that. You want to 
get rid of those. So I just tend to space mine just like this. It gets rid of hot spots, and I think you get slightly better flavour if you use space cores. But you can use contacts and just strum it a little bit more. It's all up to the individual. There's no right or wrong, but that's the way I do it. So make sure you've got it glowing evenly from inside out, just like that, as uh, Tommy Cooper would say. Right, make sure you cool those cords down. Cool them down. Blow on them profusely before you put your cotton in, otherwise uh, you'll melt them. We're using some cotton bacon today. You can use Muji, whatever you like. I just had some of this handy. Let's have a little slurp. Find the hole, mate. What's up, Ash? Cheers for tuning in, buddy. Just doing the build. We'll be doing the pros, cons, and the final thoughts after this as well. And then we've got the Aegis Skins uh, tutorial later on as well. Right, so get your cotton in there just like that. Like I said, you want to you want to cut these legs quite short, just below the um, or level with the underside. You'll see it in a minute. If you're using Muji, you want to rake this out a lot more than what when if you're using cotton bacon or something like that. But uh, yeah, this is a, a bit of a finicky bugger for wicking this one, so you do need to take your time when doing it. I think I might have this sped up at 1.5, in fact, because I didn't want it going on forever. Uh, so if you think I'm doing it a lot quicker this week, it's because of that. <laughs> but yeah, cotton bacon's pretty nicely raked out anyway, so... You don't need to do quite as much. But the trick with this one, before you try and tuck it all in, is get it nice and moist. Because you've got to try and get it in uh, so it stays in there. There's no retainer ring until you put the actual chimney on. So get your cotton nice and moist, guys, because it will stay in there a little bit easier. We're using Kerno Black, uh, a black currant uh, aniseed grape... Uh, variety kerno flavors absolutely awesome juice better than zeus reloaded in my opinion so you just see there you can just press it down and it stays in where it goes because otherwise you might snag where there's threads on either side if you get that caught in the uh, chimney cap it's um not very good because it isn't going to wick properly then because your cotton's going to be all over the place so make sure you spend a lot of time getting it inside uh, under there in fact, I've probably got a little bit too much cotton there. I'm probably going to get my scissors out and rake it down. Make sure you separate the cotton as well because you want it independently uh, be, uh, being able to be wicked up by the uh, capillary action of the cotton. Just get rid of uh, any loose stragglers underneath there. Because I'm going to be vaping this at quite high wattages, it's best to leave them short. In mouth lung tanks, you can let the cotton sit on the deck a little bit more because uh, you're not putting so much wattage through. But uh, there you go. Just tied it all up. Get your scissors on there if you want to get rid of any more of that. It's not looking too bad. Just give it a little clip like that. Get rid of any excess cotton. But yeah, it's a nice deck, this one. I love the grub screws. It's uh, quite easy to build if you're using your uh, coily tool. But... Uh, there's not masses of room in there. I've got three millimeter internal diameters. So as you can see, you're not really going to fit much more in there. Otherwise, uh, it all might touch these sides and then you've got short circuits. So you don't actually want that. So three mil is what I would say is uh, best. Right, putting the top cap on, you want to find the thread by going backwards first and then do it very gently up. You do not want that cotton to be snagged in that um, chimney. And then you can just fill her up. Like I say, with a straight glass, I think it's something like 5 or 6 mil. Uh, it might be 4.5. And with the bubble tank, it's um, it, I'm sure it's something like 8 mil. And I, I just can't remember because the box doesn't say, the instructions doesn't, don't say either. And uh, yeah, I forgot to look. Right, so that's it. We're all built. So we're going to go back up to the main camera. So big love to everyone that is watching today i absolutely uh, adore you you are all legends so 
Yeah, that was a good look around the bulk RTA. Uh, kindly sent over by Health Cabin. You can see the logo on the screen. Do check out their website uh, if you want to purchase it. Because like I said earlier, you can't find a bulk RTA in many places, especially not in the UK. So that's where we got it from. We've just done the build section as well. So if you've just come in late and you want to see how I built it and everything, after we have rendered this particular video, I will put timestamps on like I do of all my live shows and we put it into different sections to make it easier for the viewer if you just want to watch a particular part of the show. So anyway, let's have a quick... Uh, Butchers, we got 33 in. You are all legends. If you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up, that would be awesome. It gets me up the search rankings. Right, so bulk RTA. I've got it in bubble tank mode, and there's um, there's a reason for that as well, and we'll get onto that in a minute. I've got my own drip tip on here, but we will put on uh, the other two on there because I just find that the drip tip I use gives better flavor. But that's what we're looking like with the... Um, the main standard drip tip that we've got on. What's up, Rufus? How are we doing? Right, let's just see if anyone else joined us. Uh, right, Rufus Kane, obviously. Love the bulk, old underrated RTA. Right, not many other chatters. If you are watching this, you fancy leaving us a comment. Um, I'll just be going through the pros, cons, and um, final thoughts. And then we'll have a a little bit of a break before we go on to the Aegis skins. Right, what do I think of it then? Right, like I said, I bought, uh, got it from Health Cabin. They sent over free of charge. So big love to Health Cabin. Uh, I think it retails between $20 and $30, something like that, I do believe. If you can find one, that is. Right, build quality, fit and finish. I'm actually quite impressed with the build quality. It seems it's Umi. I, I've had like the Wasp Nano uh, RDA. I didn't like that at all. The Wasp RTA, we had plastic threads onto metal, which wasn't very good. But the build quality with this, obviously uh, Mark Vaping Fagan uh, has got a design influence in this. So uh, I'm quite, not quite, I can't quite remember what he said uh, because I haven't watched his um, introductory. I might have done at the time two years ago. But uh, we've got metal on metal, so the threads are pretty good on here. We've got the airflow adjustment. Uh, it spins a little bit freely, but I've not had it inadvertently undo itself, anything like that. This top O-ring on here is, when you first get it with my one, I could not get the bugger off. Like I said, it was on there. I, I had to literally take the base off, push a wooden spoon up there with rubber gloves on, try and get some fairy liquid around the top and then sort of pull it down as hard as I could, and eventually I got it off. And then as soon as I'd done that, I got some e-liquid around that O-ring. Uh, give it a good thorough wash, obviously, because you don't want um, uh, fairy liquid in there or anything like that. What's up, uh, UK Vapes? So thanks for popping in. Right, so the fit and finish is really good. We've got some nice uh, grub screws in here, hex-style grub screws. I haven't stripped them. They're nice and beefy. Awesome. The deck on here, I think, is pretty nice as well it's um it's relatively easy to build because we've got the legs going like that you put the screws in like that so you're not deforming the legs if you're using a um, complex coils so that is good and like i say the the threads are pretty good as well so build quality is more than adequate with this one. We've got bulk RTA written on there. It's in black. When you've got some pink uh, purple e-liquid in it, it covers that up anyway. But uh, yeah, it's not overly in your face. You've just got that on there and that is that. We haven't got any other logos up here or anything. We've got a nice bit of knurling on here. You can open that freely. And yeah, I, ju I just like it. I like using this RTA. It's nice to build on. It's, uh, it takes a little bit of love and care to do that wicking. But if you've been building for a while, I think uh, you'll get on with this. If you're a newbie uh, just going on to Arte's and that, I think you might struggle. You might get some dry hits with this one. And we'll get on to that in a minute. Right, let's get on to airflow then. We've got the airflow holes wide open. We've got three slots on here. And um, yeah, I gave measurements and that down below. But I'll give you an airflow rating. We're going to put the wattage up because it's a lot of airflow. The build's coming in at 0.13, uh, 
And my my FD load, the screen's gone a bit fucked. So I think it's because I um uh yeah I dropped it, but it still works perfectly. Ninety five watts. Right. I've got three millimeter internal diameter core, so it's filling out that deck. So even with that wide open, it's still not mega. It is airy. It's like a 8.5 to 9 out of 10. So we've got restriction in there. If you use 2.5 millimeter cores, you're going to have less restriction. So it's going to be even airier. So you'll probably need to restrict the airflow there. Right, the scale is 10 being mega wide open, one being the mouth to lung vape, that is. So it is quite restrictive. We'll put it down to halfway now. Remember, it's on all three holes. This is how I like to rock it. Halfway open is absolutely um, wah, perfect. Uh, the flavour you get on it with it like that is... Um, pretty darn good to be honest but we're just going to put it we're going to flavor in a minute i just gave that away right the thing is when you start restricting that airflow down a bit just put it down to 73 watts and if you can just see the airflow there just put it to about a quarter listen to this oh we're whistling baby a third open really loud and a bit it doesn't feel very nice when it's going in but if you get it to about half, maybe just over half, um, well, it's a, a treat. 0 0.13, 0 0.14, the core was coming out. Um, you can vape this around 60 to 65 watts um, like that. In fact, we'll do that now. 65 watts. Restrict it a little bit more. Just have it just under half. It's a little, it's edging on the whistle there, but if you want to vape it like 60, 65 watts, it's lovely, nice. It's not too intense, but the flavor's really good. I tend to rock it just over half though. Around 80, here we go. Crank it up to 100. And you can keep going up. It depends what you want. But for me, between 60 and 80 and restricting that airflow to like somewhere around half is the the best um, for this one. If you go mega wattage, you might find it struggles to keep up with the wicking. Right, here's 120. Put that airflow open. But it does, uh, it does, it is wicking, but it's, for me, if you start doing chain vaping on it, you start to dry out that cotton, it doesn't wick it up fast enough. Now, I've been vaping a long time, so I do know how to wick, do you know what I mean? And um, the Juggernaut V2, for example, which is the recent one I've got, a uh, top airflow jobby, I can pump that one way higher without it doing that, and I can chain vape it. With this one, I've got to like, keep it around 65 to 80 if I want to uh, chain vape it. So for me, that's uh, what I'm saying with it. Uh, it's not brilliant for chain vaping. I'm using 80% VG as well. And um, if you use 70 VG, it will work better. But with the straight glass on here, I was finding, that especially with the cold weather we've been having uh, first thing in the morning, it was uh, having a little bit of a struggle to keep up with that straight glass on. So my advice is to put that bubble on there. Um, it works better with 70, but I always use 80 because that's my bag. And um, that is that. But if you do find you get a slight dry hit, I'll just show you. Just undo that. And you'll just see there, just undo the... Uh, top cap and it releases those air bubbles because that's what i found with this one it's sometimes uh, the air bubbles get trapped and you need to release it in order for it to wick uh, efficiently now i've had this uh, with other ones serpent elevate and other tanks like that 
Uh, other ones, uh, you don't have that particular issue. But um, if you do find you feel like it's tasting a little bit dry, just release the air bubbles on the uh, by opening the top cap slightly, and that does do the trick. But so like I say, you've got to take your time, you're wicking, uh, rake out that cotton, make sure it's pretty tight in the actual core, but uh, rake out those legs and keep them short, and it will work a lot better at higher wattages. Uh, but that is that. So, right, the drip tip on this one, it's a little bit too wide for my liking. So, Mark's uh, included the uh, Fagans. We've got the uh, higher high top jobby as well. So, we'll give it a go with that. And the flavour is lots better because you've got a, a narrower bore, basically, which you always get. If you get a narrower bore drip tip, you get better flavour usually. Depends what you want to do though, whether you're vaping at super high wattages. This is one from the Avacon CP810 edition, which is the one I like to use on it. This gives me optimum flavour. So, right, let's give you a flavour rating out of 10. Here we go. Right, it's, it's a very good one, guys. This one is a good 9 out of 10 for flavour. It's it's not my favourite RTA ever, but um, I think the flavour is spot on for a tank that's uh, two years old. It was really well d designed and put together. This one, uh, I think uh, Umie and uh, uh, Vape and Fagan done a really good job. The flavour is outstanding for a tank of this age. Now, I don't think it's good as the uh, Juggernaut V2 or the Steam Crave Aromizer Plus V2. They are edging it. They're giving me 9.5, pushing uh, 10 for flavour. But this one's giving me a solid 9 out of 10. It's a very uh, nice draw. Nice smooth airflow, even though we've got no honeycomb. But I've been enjoying it a lot. One thing you've got to remember, though, we've got 28 millimeters. So we got it on the Evdillo. That's the sort of, um, it fits on there perfectly. If you're going to be using this on other devices, other sort of rectangular box mods, it might not fit. I'll just put it on the Aegis Max for argument's sake. This one fits a 30 as well. Uh, fits on there lovely so if you've got those type of devices you'll be okay but if you've got uh, mods that only fit 25 26 you're going to get overhang right this is the Aegis X now this one if, if you look at it this way it does fit on there but this mod literally can fit about 28 on there perfectly so if you've got an age of sex it will fit it uh, so that is that guys but um, overall with this particular RTA uh, like I said got it from Health Cabin you can check out the um, website Health Cabin just type it in the Google I've got the logo on the screen that's what it should look like if you uh, type it in that's where you can get it from at the moment because like I say I haven't found it in many other places in the UK or um, other sites i haven't really checked in america uh, for that uh, matter but uh, if you want it uh, yeah you, I, I would get in there quick because uh, this has been out for a while and i've probably been discontinued to be honest this is just um, old stock i'm not uh, totally sure but um, i think the build quality is pretty good on this for an umia product it is pretty good airflow is nice and smooth we do get some whistling and that if you go right down on the airflow if you've got it fully open it's it's not mega airy if you've got three millimeter calls so yeah if you're an airflow hog i'm not sure this will be uh, totally your bag but if you've got it wide open and you put a couple of 2.5s it will be nice and airy for you the flavor on here is on point we're getting giving it nine out of ten for flavor for a tank that's two years old that's pretty awesome now, wicking is the key with this one, like I've uh, said. So you've got to take your time on it. Do what I did down low, rake out your cotton, cut it nice and short, level with the bottom of the deck. You shouldn't have any dramas at all. So for the purposes of the time stang, at exactly 3.45 p.m. on the Saturday, that is the end of the review, guys. So I hope you did enjoy that, the bulk RTA. Don't go away, whatever you do, though, because... Um, We've got something special coming up in a minute. We are going to be doing a live uh, rewrap of the Aegis uh, Max mod. So 
<sighs> yeah, that is coming up in a minute. So I'm just going to have a little breather. Uh, if anyone's been talking in chat, I do apologise. I was doing a proper review. This is a proper reviews channel, so I'm sorry I ignored the chat there. We are going to have a little interaction with chat, and then we'll get on to the Aegis skins in about five or ten minutes. So do bear with me while I have a quick uh, drink and a quick vape. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. That is nice. Pineapple raspberry old Mount Cider for anyone that's interested. Right, we've still got 34 in the house. Uh, big love to you all. Thanks for tuning in. That was the bulk RTA review. Um, right, so let's have a little chat of what's going to be coming up on the channel before we get on to the ages, uh, Max, because... Yeah, I just want to have a little breather. That was quite intense doing that. So I hope you did enjoy the review, guys. Uh, please comment in chat if you've got any questions about the bulk or anything like that. I'll just scroll up and see who we've got in there. Right. Moist. Yeah, we, we like it moist. Can't find series calls, uh, uh, Chris said. Now, I don't think M Mark's more of a mouth to lung type vapor, so I'm not sure if you would have him on there. Thanks for sharing the show, Neil. Sub M Silver Reviews. Do check out his channel. Check out Simon62 as well, fellow reviewers. Sexy Deck by Hooked on Funk. Yeah, it is a sexy deck. I like it. Nice and beefy. I like my big RTAs, personally speaking. Moist and tight. Indeed, guys. Rufus has got Kerno Black in his RTA right now. Nice one, brother. You heard him. Get it moist before sticking in, noob. Indeed, brother. You've got to get it moist, brother. No point in going in dry. Vaping 101 have series alien calls. Yep, always check out other sites, guys. I always promote Market Nature Vape because... Uh, he supplies the cause for the channel, but obviously there are other vendors out there. Can't find the glasses either. Is it best to keep tail short most GTA tile, uh, style tanks, mate? It is when you're doing higher wattage vaping. If you're using mouth to lung, like I said in the review, you can keep them longer because it um, it just with mouth to lung it will work if they're longer. Uh, because you're not putting mega wattage. Because if you're doing mega wattage, it just works better if you've got juice flowing underneath that cotton and it will suck it up better. Fiona, no, no other reviewer does this live every week. Great idea, Mike, and it's going down well. I think your viewers. Big love, uh, Fiona, and I'm glad you're all enjoying it. Well, I hope you're all enjoying it anyway. Rufus Scott, black bulk, supposed to have problems reading gnomes, but never had any myself. I've never had any problems with that. That's why I haven't pointed it out. What's up, Stuart Ayrton? Right. Uh, Fagan prescribes lube. I bet he does. Right, how are we doing? Michelle B's in the house. Hi, Michelle. Hope you and Roy are doing very well indeed. Where's Roy then? Why isn't he coming? Hip Hop Juice, uh, big love buddy. Happy rainy Saturday, everyone. It's not raining here at the moment, but um, we have had a lot of rain the last two days. Though. Right on the south coast of England. Is it the BTFC or NADA deck in it? Can't remember. I've got, I did have the NADA, but I don't think it's exactly the same, mate. I never had the BTFC though. No wonder the dogs are barking with that whistle. Indeed, brother. No need to rush on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, we don't need to rush, but I have got... Um, we got my mother-in-law coming round a little bit later on. Lisa's out with the family today, but uh, I was doing this show. I'm doing two in one because I've got a few bits coming in, so I thought uh, I'd do two because now I'm only doing one a week. I've got to try and get stuff out there. Don't break glass on the bubble. Bubble glass is very hard to, hard to find, almost none. Yeah, I broke my glass on my JKV2 the other day. It was uh, an absolute uh, bugger because I can't find that anywhere apart from in Canada. So, yeah, that's one particular point. Roy's busy with something. God knows we're all good, though. Good to hear, Michelle. Right, so what we've got coming up then? 
Actually, before I go on any further, let's do a little plug for the Vapor Round Reader Awards, which are live at the moment. Uh, uh, you can see it on the uh, things scrolling along the bottom there. Vote for MFA if you think I deserve it. Even if you don't think I deserve it, put it in there anyway, because it would be great to get uh, a nomination. So big love. Uh, vote for MFA in the Reviewer of the Year category. I would truly appreciate it. So thank you very much for that. Right, so coming up then, at some point I will receive the Nest RTA, or RDA I should say, vertical mesh uh, RDA by Nature Vape, but it hasn't arrived yet, but that will be coming up when we get it. I do know that I've got the Kylie Mini uh, by Va Vandy Vape, uh, it's just arrived in the UK from Sourcemore and I'm picking it up from the post office on Monday but it didn't quite get him in time for today. So that will, I'll probably get that one up next, in fact. Uh, uh, hopefully I'll test it out this week and we'll have it up next Saturday, the Kylin Mini. If not that, um, it depends when I get the Nest, but yeah, we'll give it a good test in. RDAs and RTAs, you can usually gauge it within three or four days whether you've got any leaking issues, stuff like that. We've got the Asgard series deck, that'll be coming up at some point. We've got the Aegis skins obviously coming up in a minute. We've got Batman's juice whenever that arrives as well. And uh, we've got the Tesla single 21700 mod. That hasn't arrived there either. But I do have the Cardi Mini in England. So really looking forward to that one. So hopefully I'll have that one up very soon. All right, let's just crack open another can. Like I say, guys, people are just tuning in. Don't go away. We're just telling you what's coming up for review in the next few weeks. We've got something special coming up here. We're going to do a live opening and rewrap of the Aegis skins, custom Aegis skins by Jay at uh, custom.aegis.eu, I believe, is the website. Before we go any further, I would just get it up, in fact. So if we just go on to... I'm just going to show it on the screen before we go any further. Put it on the screen. Right, so there is the, the website there. Customages.eu. Jay is from uh, the Netherlands. So I was going to say Holland, but it's actually the Netherlands. Uh, so the product will be sent out from there. And if we just scroll down, this is what the website's looking like here. So the stock editions, they're five euros, about five dollars ninety-five or four pound fifty-five. Uh, what is the delivery on here? Not sure about delivery prices yet, but hopefully uh, the J in chat will be able to tell you. So there we got some nice co uh, coloured ones there. Here's the special editions. These ones are ten dollars. And uh, yeah, we've got some lovely patterns going on there. We've got printed editions. These are 10, uh, 10 euros, I should say, $11.95 or £9.15. So if you get in touch with him, you can order whatever ones uh, you like. But if you want to check out that website, please do so. Do so. And we've got some limited edition ones here. We've got unique edition ones there as well. And he's also on Instagram, and you can check out all his posts on it. I do love that one, the old Corona Extra one. That is awesome. Well done, Jay. But yeah, scroll through there, and um, you can find all the different ones that you may wish to uh, order. But anyway, that's a sneak peek of that. We'll go back up top here, and we are going to go down low and get my lamp on. We, how are we doing there? We're going to readjust my microphone. Uh, Peter Kendall, thank you very much, sir. Thanks for popping in. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. What's up, Blazing Vape? Steve, how are you doing, buddy? Hey, up, folks. Was listening to all your view whilst cleaning out a dozen tanks. Nice one, Ian. Cheers for tuning in, my absolute legend of a brother. Hope you're doing well, mate, you and Fee. St 
still lurking, contact Funk Direct or myself at jeremy at customages.eu for help or ordering. Thanks very much, Still Lurk, and I didn't even realise you were affiliated with him, mate. All right, Nicky Maynard, how are you doing? Purple Vape have got spare bolt bubble glass in stock. Thanks for pointing that one out. That is awesome. Right, we're going to adjust my mic because we're going to put it... We're going to go down low. I've got to get this in the right position, so bear with me. Glad you're doing well, uh, Ian. Nice to see you in here, bro. That uh, means a lot, buddy. Well, where's me bolt gone? Let's have a putt. Right, we've vaped out now. Right, 35 watching. Uh, let's get down here and talk because I've got it over there. 35 watching. Big love for all that, guys. Right, now for the tricky bit. God, God help me. Right, I've never done this before, guys, so you've got to bear with me. I'll leave chat up, but again, I'll probably be ignoring you whilst we do this. So let's just get it down low. Here we go. Yeah, the bolt's really good, Ian. Like I say, it's a solid atomizer, mate. Nine out of ten for flavour. You can't go wrong, mate, for the money. Right, so here we go. This was sent over by Custom Ages. Uh, .eu, whatever it's called. I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, it is .eu. I've been liaising with Jay. He's the bloke who actually makes these and he's sent this little package over and he's put a nice little fan mail uh, little smiley face on here. So let's get... Um Oops, just turned the mic off there inadvertently. Excuse the sound, it might not be quite as good now, but just show at the top there, this one's gone through border force. I don't want to use scissors on it in case it goes through something. You might have to, though. The more vodka you can see. Let's hope this doesn't go through any skins. I think I've been lucky. Right, so you get a little jiffy envelope. It took about a week, just over a week to arrive. But we are coming from the Netherlands. Rotterdam in the Netherlands, I believe, he's based. Fucking hell, keep hitting the bloody button. Right, I hope you can still hear me. If you can just tell me in chat whether it still sounds okay, yeah? Right, this is the mod term we're going to do today uh, see what's in here there are some instructions you can get which is probably a good idea to do but you can get them send you a pdf i haven't looked at them because i'm a nightmare i might have to speak with jay though what one's for what or i thought one was for the um, legend or are they the same size mate You get yourself a little skin there as well. Two skins in here. We've got one there and one here. I'm presuming they are for the... Are they for the Max? Yeah, that, that's got to be for the Legend, I would have thought. Jay, you could have marked what ones they were bloody for on here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got a bit of a, a scaly one here, a bit of a crocodile skin jobby. Um, yeah, that's got to be for the legend, uh, the Aegis X, I should say. And we've got like a, a leathery sort of effect one there. So put those to one side because we're not going to be putting them on. Come on, Mark, it's your fart. MS for the... Mat. Yeah, but I'm stressing, mate. I'm doing this live on YouTube. Right, you get a nice little torque screwdriver here. So you've got your star shape screwdriver. So that's what you need. I've already got my one here though because I was 
a little bit prepared, but uh, you do get that. That's a nice touch. Get your little skin here so you can put that on whatever. So, feel really nice actually. They are a faux leather, but they do feel very nice. We're going to obviously put the MF8 one on there, aren't we, guys? Got a white background on there. And that is that. Right, here we go. Aegis over there, Aegis X. Let's just try this one to see if it fits. First of all, you need to remove your panel. It's a good idea to get yourself a little pot for your screws, which I haven't got. Here you go. Put it in the nature of eight one. Chat amongst yourselves, guys. Oh, it's magnetic. That's a touch. Right, so once you've got this off here, you need to peel the other skin off, obviously, and you may find some glue. I like the fact that's magnetic. That's awesome. Nothing like being prepared. Exactly, mate. I would have been prepared if I'd opened it earlier on. Right, you need to get this bad boy off. Now, it, my one's going to come off because I have al already pulled it off once. I started peeling this one off just to see what was under it. But that's what we're looking like in here. You might need to get yourself a flat edge or something, but be really careful not to damage your uh, particular shell piece there. But that just comes off like here. Right. Try not to use the knife as much as possible. So here's your old one coming off here. Like they use some strong glue on it. If you want to reuse that one later on, the good thing about the original ones, it's got that stitching on, which I really liked. That goes back in there. And we have got a little bit of shit on there. So here's the time to get out your, um, your cloth is put over there. I'm using some 3 and one oil, something I actually should get rid of it. You could use soapy water if you want, but I'm just going to get rid of all this glue because I think that's what Jay was saying. I did watch, um, uh, what's his name? Mick at Thingy Bob, Late Night Vape Show. He, he just put it on there without getting rid of this, but Jay told me, no, don't do that. Make sure you get rid of the glue. So that's what I'm doing. All oh, right, that's the padding as well. Right, that, that's why it helps to read the instructions. What's that on there? Right, use a dry part to get rid of that. All oh, right, so the black part is like an extra bit of padding, I see. I didn't realize that. The other one just came as one piece though, didn't it? If you're just joining us, fucking bear with me guys. This is what you get for doing live shows. You probably did tell me in uh, Instagram that there was another part as well, but my memory's like a fucking sieve, mate. But if you don't want it to smell like oil, you want to get rid of all that. Right, there you go. 
Right, so you're telling me I need to get this bit on as well as this bit. Uh, is there a particular way round, or are they just the same? Let's have a look. Leave the paint on it. Shut up, feet. I think it fits that way round. It's not the same shape. Fucking hell, I don't know how to do this. How are you supposed to stick it on there then? God's sake, you've got no glue, it's bloody impossible. Fucking hell, I don't know. Something like that I'll have to do. <laughs> That'll do. That looks all right to me. Let's get your screws in. <laughs> Slide the skeleton back. No shit fucking hooked. Cheeky fuckers. Oh man, this is fucking nightmare. Why aren't it going to bloody hell? All right, this is where it tests my um, patience here. Fucking hell, this is awkward. Bloody hell, it shouldn't be this hard to do. Get in there, you piece of shit. Fucking hell. All right, let's use a proper screwdriver. It's using that bloody stupid thing. All right, there you go. Yeah, the other screwdriver's all right. Oops, nearly lost the screw there, but this one's better. <laughs> Meltdown. It's not in the way. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it under control, mate. Slightly, if you believe that. Oh man, it's not in there properly. Piece of shit. Right, let's do that again. Is this where you should read the instructions, Jay? I think I'll delete this, actually. I won't leave this on my channel. Right, there you go. It's probably... God's sake. Why is it so... Right, it looks like it's in there there. Right, let's do it like that. Do one on each side first this time. Get in there, bloody hell. Oh, I hate doing things live. Why aren't you going in? Right, that's that. Right, let's do the other side. One over here. Use your fucking noddle, mate. <sighs> oh, my God, eh? What a nightmare. Get in the bloody hole. What's the matter with you?
try that one. <laughs> right, where's the fucking window? Shut up anyone who's saying what to do. If you fucking try this live on air, you'll have the same bloody trouble. Oh, come on. Get in there, you absolute bell end. I fucking never thought this would be so fucking hard. What's the matter with me? Get the bloody hell in the hole. Oh, I, I give up. I seriously don't understand why it's not going in. Loosen that fucker off. I think I do need a pair of marigolds on, actually. I think I might get some. Right, get your marigolds because you need to get a bit of leverage like that. I can't believe this is so hard to do. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Losing the will to live. I can't bloody get it in the fucking hole. <laughs> Right, this is just doing my head in. I just fucking can't do it. It's stuck to my finger. Fucking at last. I really wish I hadn't suggested doing this now. F fucking piece of shit. Oh my god. If you're not gonna go in again this is have they designed this so it literally has to be fucking perfect. I just never known anything with the fucking tolerances. I'll tell you what, I'm seriously consider I'm not gonna do this again ever. Fucking embarrass yourself live on YouTube. Fucking hell. I see what you mean now by sending me that email, Jay. Fucking, I should have practiced it first. It's fucking upside down, isn't it? No, it ain't. It's all right. Right, there you go. That is it. Looks like it's all in place, but um, yeah, <laughs> fucking hell. 
I'll tell you what, let's go back up top. I, uh, honestly, guys, if you're... Let's get this mic back up. If you're going to be getting this one yourself, you're going to be able to see it a little bit easier and all that shit, and you haven't got the pressure of being on YouTube. Uh, it surely isn't that easy to do. When I, you know, I just couldn't get the bloody screws in the out. But that's what we're looking like. So, looks all right, doesn't it? God, I don't know if that was worth the aggro, actually. Oh, yeah, I know I've got a free skin, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh my jeez I'm really sorry about that guys I cannot believe I couldn't get that um, cage back on but I think you would admit that it looks pretty damn good we're not going to put the other one on sod that uh, Roy's reviews before you do any piss taker mate you try doing something like this live uh, I love these fucking little big men that come into my chat and start taking the piss. Uh, when you start doing a live review yourself, mate, then you've got uh, you've got the capacity to take the piss, mate. But as you don't, you can shut the fuck up. Swivel on it. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that, guys. I can't believe that, that was... I was very close to melting down there. But, um... Oh... I, I held that in, Dean. If I, I nearly had a meltdown there. It does look nice, though, doesn't it? Pretty happy with that. Let's put an RDA on it. Let's put, uh, let's put a little battery in it. I've done... Oh, I've done lots of live reviews, you're saying now. Well, I'm glad yours have all gone smoothie, mate. The key was to align the screw holes with the one on the mod. It's not that. It's when the padding and that's on there, uh, Jay. It, um, it's totally different, isn't it? It's not like when you just... If you're just... If, when, I re -put, when I put it on, on the other one, that actually already had the skin on, it was a piece of piss. But it's because you've got to try and hold that padding in place at the same time. But anyway, yeah, if you're watching this, uh, I would go and watch someone else's review on how to do it properly. <laughs> He's going live with me on Monday. Fucking bully for, bully for him. Piss-taking twat. Right. So what, let's put the bulk RTA on. I watch Roy and eat my BB when I'm struggling to sleep. People do that with me as well, buddy, but there you go. Right, so as we've got the bulk, we'll put the... Um, use it on there. Is that on there properly? Fucking hell. Anyway, I'll have to do. <laughs> Ian Keyes, you absolute legend. Thank you very much, sir. Fucking... I'll tell you what, I I was not expecting that to be so hard. Uh, I will have a look at the PDF instructions later and see what I did wrong. Roy, I don't care about your challenge, mate. All I know is I that was hard work because the screws are so small. You're doing it over a camera. Normally, you've sort of got it up here. And it's a little bit easier. Anyway, what's the time now? That's made me want to go and go and find a darkened room somewhere, to be honest. Grab a beer, Mike. Yeah, I've got one here. Cheers to everyone that did put um, put up with that. That was... Oh, I can't believe it. I really cannot. Because even if you're telling me to line up those screws on one side, that's what I did. But then the other side popped out. So you're better off pushing it together like that, surely. Nicky Maynard, big love. Thank you very much. It's not hard, really, no. But if it can go wrong, it will go bloody wrong. Simple as that. 
Anyway, we got there in the end. Um, fucking hell. Just, that, that is what you get for trying to do something without uh, practicing. I thought it would just be a piece of piss. So I should have listened to Jay and actually um, uh, read the instructions properly. Oh, but just wear my glasses. Exactly. IKEA flat pack makes me like... Doing flat packs is a piece of piss. It's just having that camera there, mate. Honestly, that, that, there was so much pressure coming inside. I'm thinking, what are you doing? You absolute melt. Devil Vapor, how you doing, mate? Thanks for coming in. As if 2020 wasn't that bad enough, Mike had yet another meltdown. Oh, dear. Yeah, it would be simple off camera. The, the, the trouble is, I was... I usually use my left hand to use a screwdriver as well, and I was using my right because I had the glove on my left hand, which didn't help. I know I'm making excuses here, but there you go. Exactly, it is lucky they're magnetised so uh, new. Oh man, I've God, that was so much pressure. I feel exhausted. Looking forward to putting this one on though on the old Aegis X. Look, they do look really good to be honest um, that does look good because I've got some zap wrap skins but this feels nice it's a really nice texture uh, now we're doing it I might as well talk about it um, it's it's a pretty good quality faux leather this feels like uh, but um, I think it looks really good I'm really happy with that Jay I'm sorry for the fucking meltdown mate but I just can't believe that was so, so tricky to do on the camera <laughs> that did give you a good chuckle you shouldn't really have to use the instructions really you just need a bit of common sense and obviously I haven't got any Anyway, we're going to go in a minute. I've, um, I've, that literally took it out of me. So, everyone who has tuned in today, sorry about the meltdown. I just, um, yeah, I didn't know what happened there. It just didn't uh, work out right. But um, anyone who's watching the replay, uh, thanks for en enduring it. Fiona said I had the same trouble lining up the screws when changing the cover on the single squat ages to the solid door. I had to squeeze the life out of it to line up the screw holes. It does happen occasionally. It's just, it was just that added pressure. Because I was thinking, shit, I'm, everyone's going to start commenting on how long it's taken and all of that. Cheers, Rufus. Thanks for popping in, mate. But anyway, we've reviewed the bulk RTA. If you want to catch the rerun of it, I will do the timestamps uh, for that. We've got the rebuild on there as well. We've also got uh, the Aegis uh, skins wraps. If I were you, I wouldn't bother watching it. I would uh, watch someone else's review, someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> but uh, fuck it out. I just feel like such a twat now. Cheers, Neil. Appreciate it, mate. No, I just... Um, I, at first, I thought I was going all right, but when that other side popped out, it was just a nightmare. Cheers, Fiona. So we're going to leave it there. Jay, who's in chat, do check out his website, customages.eu. He's also on Instagram as well. Chris has put the links in here on numerous occasions today. The bulk RTA, you can get it from Health Cabin. You can see it on the screen up there. 
do check them out because they were kind enough to send it over for a review. Big love to Health Cabin for that and also big love to Jay for sending over for a review. It's really appreciated. And in my own time, I'm going to put this one on as well and um, hope it goes a, li a little bit smoother. Everyone who's in chat, everyone who's been ghosting today, um, thank you very much. Uh, it, it wouldn't be called Meltdown in Lockdown without a meltdown, would it? So uh, <laughs> there you go. Big love to Ian Kears for the £5 donation. You are an absolute legend, brother. And so hopefully on next week's show, we'll have um, the Kylie Mini 2 on. Uh, if it's uh, what it is here, I've just got to put it together. But uh, yeah, so until next time, guys, I'll say see you later. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Make sure you are staying safe. Keep social distancing. Keep your masks on. Let's get this bugger at bay. And I'll see you next week. So big love to you. 